guys. Today's another beautiful morning. I'm just going out for a morning walk. Lots to do, lots to talk about today. Today I wanted to talk about rest and restful services. Now what does rest stand for? Rest is representational state transfer. It's kind of a fancy word, but all rest is essentially allows computers to share resources with one another. Um, REST uses another protocol called HTTP or HTTPS. You guys probably have heard of this. HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. The S stands for secure. But REST services uses HTTP to get resources, modify resources, delete resources, and make changes to the resources, things like that. With HTTP, there's a set of verbs that we use in the industry to define what action of oh, that, what action we want to tell the computer to do. So the most common four HTTP verbs are get, post, put, and delete. Now there are other HTTP verbs, but those are the main ones that make up our... So let's talk a little bit about what you can do with RESTful services. So take any website, for example, that let's take a blogging website. When you want to make a blog, you need to be able to store your documents somewhere in the server, right? So RESTful services come in really handy there because you could create a service where you can get documents that you have stored into a server. You could also post new documents to the server. You could also delete uh, blog entries, you could update or put slash edit your new entries. So that's a simple um, web service that you could manipulate using REST. Now a website like this, like a blog, we call it CRUD. We say CRUD for create, read, update, and delete. And those actions are actually about 90% of what like simple website needs to be able to do. But yeah, so that's kind of REST. RESTful services, HTTP, and CRUD in a nutshell. Those three acronyms will be thrown around quite a bit in the industry. And they're kind of basics, fundamental stuff that you guys all need to know. But I will say the importance of, I will say having a, found, a foundational understanding and like a deep understanding of RESTful services is actually really helpful. Also HTTP, the thing about HTTP is it is a standard but there's tons to it so you could really dive into it so you could look up what headers do what kind of headers are allowed there's a bunch of options in the headers and you can learn about requests and a response you can learn about payloads there's all these things that are associated with http protocol that most people don't really dive into but they're very helpful to debugging understanding how certain calls are made understanding security but yeah there's there's a lot to it but I'm just briefly talking about what these topics are at a higher level, just to give you guys a basic understanding of it. So when you hear someone start talking about it, at least you have a general idea of what they're speaking about. So that's kind of REST, HTTP, and CRUD. Also, we call them CRUDy apps, CRUDy CRUD apps. But yeah, actually my first hackathon that I ever won, I won just building a simple CRUD app. So what are the things that are like a few things that you can do with RESTful services? Let's see, what's a good example? So it's a little chilly today, so let's say that for example, before I came out, I wanted to check the weather, I would probably go for like a weather service, right? Luckily for us, there's a lot of weather-based APIs. You know what, we should actually maybe make like a really simple weather app today that tells us what temperature it is. Something like super simple. Maybe I'll find like an online tutorial to follow or something. Why don't we go back and do that right now? First thing I need to do is initialize my project with NPM. Then I'll install a few third-party modules like Express, Body Parser, and Requests. Afterwards, I'll define the root route with app.get and backslash and I'll create a post route to the root so I can submit some values to the server. Now I'm going to open some weather map documentation page looking at how their APIs work. I'll insert my secret key from the open weather API and create a query to the API. 
Here I'm also testing the call to the API by printing the response I get from the backend server onto the terminal. I'm making a few changes here. Now that I got the call to work and I parsed out what I wanted from the API, I'm going to make a few styling changes to the web app. For CSS, I'm just going to style the content to be in the center and just make the text a little bit bigger. I'm making a few changes here. And that's it. There it is, a simple CRUD app that uses RESTful services that consumes the open weather app API to get the current temperature of the city that you're in. Ah, so cute. Going to Costco. I get some eggs and some other random stuff. But yeah, I, I hope you guys were able to have a good understanding of what REST RESTful services and what you could do with this. That website, I just follow a simple tutorial online to do it, so I'll put the link to that. We'll, learn, we'll cover all of that when I go in depth into my node and express and basically how to make a website series after the JavaScript series. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this particular vlog entry uh, and see you guys next time.